Greetings, punks, goths, metalheads, herberts, herbettas, Martians and subterranean folk. My name's John, this is the Health Anarchist channel. Well, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to put studs in your punk, goth and metal items. And for today, I'm going to use a pair of boots as an example. because I'm going to put some studs in this cross buckle area over here. Now, to do this, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need, first of all, the item you're going to put studs in, a boot in this case. And you're going to need your studs, a wood gimlet, which is a piercing tool. And you want some glue, super glue. So you also need a little scrap of wood, a little off cut around this size. This is just to put on the other side of the material when you're sort of working your way through with the sharp wood gimmel uh, to protect your hand. Uh, if you haven't got a scrap of wood, you can use an old book that you don't care about getting holes in and you can always recycle it afterwards. The studs you buy online, they'll either be a little screw-in fitting or they'll be a rivet pop together fitting. And you can still get the old school screws which are like the split pin ones but uh, they're a bit expensive nowadays compared to the screwing or popping uh, rivet studs so I'll just show you the studs now so these are the type of uh, studs that I'll be putting in today they're a common type they've got like a, a pop together rivet the other type that are common that you can use the same technique more or less that I'm using today is the screwing studs uh, and rather than a pop together they've got like a screw fitting so the next step is to work out exactly where you're going to put the studs now I know in my mind I'm just going to fill this whole front area with studs so then you want to work out where you're going to put your first holes so what I'm going to do for this I'm going to use this little off cut of wood and I'm going to place it behind the material and then I'm going to drill through it by hand with this wood gimlet. So when you're doing this, you don't want to be putting the wood gimlet right through. You just want to be making a hole just big enough to get the back of the stud through. So I'll just give you a close up. So this is how much I've come through with the wood gimlet. As you can see, it's uh, just through a bit, just enough to get the back of the stud. So you take your wood gimlet out of the material and you pop the back of your stud through. Right, it's a perfect size hole. So I'm just going to give you a close up now of the stud back, which is through. So that's what we're looking at now with the stud back through the material. Uh, there's the back of that on the other side. So what you want to do now is you want to get your stud ready and you want to get your super glue and what you want to do is get just the tiniest dab of super glue and put it on the end of the rivet. Now don't put too much on, it's better to put just a little bit uh, and if you're using screw back studs just a dab again the same amount. You don't want to be putting too much on with the screw backs because you can actually clog the thread up and make it hard to screw. So just the tiniest dab of glue, I'll try and show you close up, but it might be tricky doing it one handed. So the super glue I've got here, I find this the easiest to use. It's got a little applicator brush, so you can just measure tiny drops out, but you can use the standard super glue too if you're careful. So going in close now, I've just put the tiniest coating on the end of the stud back in. So next you want to get your stud and pop it on. So that's popped on and it's nice and secure. What you'll find is if you don't use glue uh, they'll unscrew and drop off a lot of the time so definitely well worth putting a tiny drop of glue on each one so that's how that's looking now with the first stud in and next 
I've just got to repeat that about 50 times. So what I'll do is uh, I'll show you when it's finished. So basically you're just repeating the same step over and over again. Just showing you've got a couple of rows in there. Uh, shouldn't be too long now. So as you can see, we're starting to get a bit of progress. Right, we're coming up to the very last stud now. If I just show you, you can see most of them are done. So it's just the last one. So I'll just pop the rivet through the back. Put a little dab of super glue on it. Now the very last stud. Right, nice. I'll just show you those a bit closer. So yeah, put all my studs in now. And uh, I'm really pleased how that's turned out. Now I've just got to repeat the process on the other boot. Now I hope this video helped you today. For those of you wanting to put studs into any of your items. If you enjoyed today's video or found it useful, please don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. And until the next video, keep yourself very safe. Take care now. Bye.